All right, today's question comes from Ralph, and his question is, why be nice? Why should we be good to each other? Why should we do ethical things? Why should we try to be nice people? And this is really a pretty good question. I mean, by now, we know each other well enough to know that I'm not going to tell you that you're supposed to be good because I said so. I'm not going to tell you you're supposed to be good because some external authority or some body of regulations told you that you're supposed to be good. I mean, there's a level at which external sanctions, an outside authority, some kind of a hero or a role model or a legislative body or whatever, there's a level at which external sanctions are really healthy. When you're little and you're learning how things work, external sanctions can be a really good thing. I mean, when there's a speed limit on the roads, you tend to drive a little bit more safely. When your pants don't fit so well, you think, oh, maybe I should go on a diet. I should live a healthier life, that kind of thing. But the thing about external sanctions is they don't work completely. They'll get you to a certain level. If you're trying to get over something, to, to turn over a new leaf, to diet, for example, it's good to pick up those rules, but they will only take you so far. And there's a couple of reasons for that. One of them is that you and I are really smart. Sooner or later, we'll figure out how to cheat. You know, we'll buy elastic waist pants or we'll get a radar detector. We'll figure out how to drive where the cops aren't. One way or another, uh, we learn how to get around the rules. When the rules are outside of ourselves, we'll figure it out. And similarly, when the rules are outside of ourselves, it means that we've placed the power outside of ourselves. And so if you live by some external standard, sooner or later you will grow to dislike that external standard. Secretly, what's going on behind the scenes is because you've given your power away and because that's not who you are, you'll feel that disconnect, you'll feel that friction, and one way or another you'll begin to blame that other person, that other organization, that other whatever it is. The healthy thing happens when you stop living in response to something outside of yourself, but rather the rules or the guidelines, whatever you want to call them, your desire to be who you are comes from inside yourself. I'll put that a different way. There's a lot of people who live in fear that, that they're going to displease some, uh, some big character in the sky or in another place or in their lives, in their house. Some people live in so much fear and they act nice, they're good because they're afraid of some kind of punishment. But the truth is that's not really ethical behavior. If I do what I want to do because I'm afraid or even because I'm hoping there's some reward later, that's not really ethical. Ethics is when I do something good because it's the good thing to do. It's all wrapped up in itself, you know what I mean? And so the trick is to stop worrying about what's going to happen next and start doing what feels good right now because that's what feels good. Put another way, if I live in fear, I might get some results, but by and large, all I'm doing is feeding that fear and making more fear. That's the last thing any of us want, and it's the last thing any of us need. Instead, find ways to do what feels right because it feels right, because it's the truth about you, and you know that. When you do something nice, when you do something true, when you participate in something beautiful, it feeds you all by itself and it feeds you to the degree that you get all of that other baloney out of the way. The job that we have is to clean house, to get out of the way everything that prevents us from having a, a true and genuine experience of what's going on. So all of that, I haven't really answered the question yet. I've sort of set the stage. Why be nice? Be nice because it's the truth about you because you are made out of love. You are made out of truth. The truth about you is incredibly good. So be true to yourself and you'll end up being nice. That's the way the world works. You're good, essentially. Through and through, you're good. Be good not because you're afraid of something bad that's gonna happen, but because you can't help yourself. Your job, if you wanna be an ethical person, is to find ways to find the truth. And along the way, you're going to end up being a nice person. Thanks for asking the question. Thanks for sharing these questions. Thanks for going to facebook.com slash Dieter Randolph and clicking on that like button. That's what I need you to do. Go to facebook.com slash Dieter Randolph and click that like button. And in the meantime, be good.